By the end of today, we will know who will be taking on the London Knights in the Western Conference Finals. It's Game 7 at the Dow Event Center between the Saginaw Spirit and the Sioux Greyhounds. It's been a fun series to follow so far. And uh, you know these two teams are going to put it all out on the line tonight as they look to advance to the third round of the OHL playoffs. But uh, on the Eastern Conference side, we've known who the opponents are going to be for nearly a week now. So I wanted to do the playoff preview video looking ahead to the series between the Oshawa Generals and the North Bay Battalion. Oshawa North Bay finishing 1-2 in the conference. And of course, Oshawa taking top spot on the last day of the regular season by two points over the North Bay Battalion. These are two very strong hockey clubs and uh, had great finishes to the regular season and have continued that momentum into the postseason after sweeping their second round opponents. Oshawa getting by the Ottawa 67s in four games and the North Bay Battalion completing the series sweep of their Northern Ontario rivals in the Sudbury Wolves. So let's break down this matchup because I, I know I thought all the second round matchups would probably go five, six, maybe seven games. This time around, the, the series has to go six or seven, right? These two teams are just so close, and we'll see it in the stats. Uh, starting off the ser season series, these two teams only meet twice during the regular season, and in 23-24, they split the series the season series. North Bay went 1-0-1, while Oshawa 1-1 in those two games. But what's interesting is the road team won both of the games. The first meeting was back on October 15th. The North Bay Battalion defeated Oshawa 5-2. to two. Mind you, at the start of the season, the Generals dealing with a lot of injuries. We didn't see the full lineup at that point in the season. And then New Year's Eve, Oshawa going up to North Bay and winning that game in overtime by a 4-3 final. So some time has passed since these two teams have met. Obviously, you can take this season series with a grain of salt because the playoffs are a whole different animal. Like we saw in the preview for the Oshawa-Ottawa series, the 67s, they had the advantage in the season series, but that didn't seem to bother the Oshawa Generals as they completed the clean sweep. So let's break down the numbers because uh, some of these numbers, pretty close. Starting off with goals four, we have to give the advantage to the North Bay Battalion. They have 43 goals so far this postseason to Oshawa's 37. Goals against, though, very close. Uh, 22 goals against for the North Bay Battalion, 23 for the Oshawa Generals. So goaltending might be a, a big factor in this series between North Bay and Oshawa. Power play, though, favoring the battalion. They have a success rate of 29% this postseason to Oshawa's 23.8%. So still a pretty good power play unit, but you have to give the edge to North Bay on that front. And then on the penalty kill, the edge goes to the Oshawa Generals, a success rate of 84.6% to North Bay's 806 So these two teams, relatively close. So yeah, give the advantage to North Bay on the scoring front, but the penalty kill unit, and the goaltending, the defense, I would almost want to lean closer to the Oshawa Generals. So it's going to be interesting to see how the series will play out. Looking at the top five goal scorers in the postseason, starting off the North Bay Battalion, Sandus Vilmanis. What a pickup from the OHL trade deadline from the Sarnia Sting. Vilmanis, five goals, 11 assists, good for 16 points in the postseason. Dalen Wakeley, he had a great regular season, and that continued into the playoffs. He's second in team scoring with 11 goals, four assists, 15 points. And then Justin Ertl, third in scoring with six goals, nine assists, good for 15 points. Owen Van Steensel, four goals, nine assists, 13 points. And rounding up the top five in scoring, Ty Nelson, three goals, four assists, good for seven points. And the storyline for North Bay has been the goaltending situation because Dom DeVincentis went down with injury in game two against the Kingston Frontenacs in the first round. And since then, Mike McIver has been fantastic in net for North Bay. McIver comes in with a goals against average of 2.28 and a 9.24 save percentage. So not too shabby. And he looked really good against the Sudbury Wolves in that second round series. Shifting our focus to the Oshawa Generals, leading the team in scoring this playoffs, Dylan Robrick, seven goals, nine assists, 16 points. Back at Seneca, right behind him with six goals, nine assists, 15 points. Callum Ritchie, third in scoring for Oshawa, four goals, nine assists, 13 points. Luca D'Amato, two goals, six assists, good for eight points. And then Connor Lockhart, fifth in scoring with two goals, five assists, good for seven points. So this is a really lethal offense the Oshawa Generals have. And uh, the Barry Colts, we got to see that in the first round as uh, Barry forcing Oshawa to six games in that opening round. And we got to see Dylan Robrick in his full capacity. He had a great series in the opening round. 
and it just continued into the second. So Robrick having a great job, getting a good job done. Also Beckett Seneca, who of course is expected to be a first round draft pick at the NHL draft in June. Goaltending Jacob Oster. He has been something else. 1.91 goals against average and a 9.33 save percentage. He has some stellar numbers and uh, he's able to steal a game or two. And we've seen this in this postseason, just what he's capable of doing. And uh, he'll be a threat going into this conference final between the generals and the battalion. So for North Bay, I already touched on Dom DiVincentis. He's still out due to injury. We're not sure the timeline as of yet. Also no word on Anthony Romani. He was the leading scorer during the regular season for the battalion, but uh, still he has not returned since suffering an injury early on in that series against the Kingston Frontenacs. But Liam Arnsby will return to the lineup for North Bay as uh, he's serving uh, a six-game suspension. He'll be back by game number two. So that'll be on Sunday at the Tribute Community Center. So Arnsby, the captain, leader of this group, uh, he'll be... Uh, He'll be a spark plug. He's kind of brings that sandpaper to this North Bay Battalion lineup, and uh, they're going to need it against this Oshawa team that can also play a very heavy game, especially when they have a player like Dylan Robrick, who is a beast out there whenever he's out on the ice. And uh, both of these two teams, you know, they've been able to rest up. They did the sweeps against Sudbury and Ottawa, so you have to figure uh, they're well. These two teams are going to be well rested. They're going to have a great game plan in place for either side. And uh, the series, of course, gets underway Friday night. That's at the Tribute Community Center. Now, what's really fascinating is just the North Bay Battalion. They're now playing in their third consecutive Eastern Conference Final, which is unreal. In junior hockey, you don't typically see that. Teams will have a couple of good seasons, and then they'll tail off, go into a bit of a rebuild, and then come back. So they've got the junior hockey cycle. North Bay, coming into this year, there were question marks. Do they sell? Uh, do they look to the future? Because there are questions. Do you keep Dom DiVincentis? Do you keep Ty Nelson? They decided to keep them, and they went all in, making that big trade with the Sarnia Sting, and now they're here again. So this might be uh, the final kick at the can, so to speak, for the North Bay Battalion before they go into a bit of a rebuild. But this team, they're celebrating 10 years in the city of North Bay, and they've now been to the conference final five out of the 10 seasons. Their first two seasons in North Bay, 2014 and 2015, they went to the conference final and played against the Oshawa Generals. So 2014, North Bay had the advantage, went to the OHL championship, lost to the Guelph Storm. And then in 2015, it was the Oshawa Generals who ended up winning the conference final and defeated Erie in the OHL championship to go to the Memorial Cup and were Memorial Cup champions that year. So these two teams have a little bit of history, which is also kind of neat to see here 10 years later. And uh, for the for the Oshawa Generals, though, uh, this is their first appearance back at the OHL's Eastern Conference Finals since 2019. That year, they got swept by the Ottawa 67s, and of course, they won that OHL championship in 2015. But for North Bay, as good as they've been these last 10 years, still looking for that first OHL championship. They joined the OHL in 1998 as the Brampton Battalion. Only one OHL championship appearance when they were in Brampton, but no title. So will this one be it? Third time's the charm, three consecutive uh, Eastern Conference appearances. Uh, do they make it to the OHL championship? Time will tell. This series is going to be a ton of fun to watch as uh, they get underway on Friday night. So that's how I see it from the booth. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the series any predictions you may have here between Oshawa and North Bay. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you again soon.